last video i have shown you how we can use the auto arima function to model time series data sets and uh, predict future values so uh, in this video i'll show you how you can use and tune the arima model with additional regressions in order to uh, predict future value based on this information so in this uh, uh, way of uh, modeling uh, time series data set, we will add Fourier terms to capture multiple seasonal days and compare the best models. So for this, I have uh, uh, read the data set uh, for a particular website, which uh, have the uh, visits from a daily visit uh, count. So if you look at the data set, it has data starting from uh, 2014, September 14th to all the way to 2020, August 19th. So before we do that, we have to install some of the libraries here. So first of all, we need to uh, have data.library. data dot uh, data dot library sorry data dot uh, table library and in addition to that we have to have the tsa library and finally since we are conducting forecasting we need to have the forecast library as well So first of all, let's create a time series variable or the time series object from this uh, traffic data set. So for that, I'm going to uh, call the TS function and get the third column for the analysis. And we have to specify the starting date. So it starts from 2014 September 14 to 2020 August 19. And uh, again, uh, we need to conduct some cl data cleaning as well because we know the entire data set ha may have some not available values as well therefore it is important to conduct data cleaning as well so first of all what we have to do is that we need to find the seasonality with uh, Fourier transform First, we will check the given times whether the given time series is uh, stationary. Then we can detect the two highest power frequencies by uh, illustrating the periodogram. So, for that, uh, in order to detect whether the data set is stationary or not, I will first call the ndips function. And then run this. So there's a small error in here. That's the reason it uh, didn't run well. So it mentions we don't need any more uh, differencing uh, since the data set is already uh, stationary. Then we can call the periodogram function. So uh, I'll create a pgram variable and call the periodogram function and we can input give the argument as the clean data so let's run this so by looking at this you can find and there is uh, uh, 
one so I have forgot to give the frequency here so if you look at the data set closely you can find two uh, data sets here uh, so the two highest power frequencies and then we can call the data.table function and check the period and spec and give the order so now you can get the period values because according to that 7 and 187 are the main seasonalities detected so in the next step we can add two matrices with Fourier terms as external regressors but first we need to find the maximum order of the Fourier terms for each matrix by minimizing the AICC. So to in order to do that we will first divide out the data into the training data and to uh, test data and build the base model. So we will use the training data from uh, 1 to 2000 and 2000 to 2167 uh, as the test data so likewise we can get the test data as well And then we have to uh, fit the base model so I put some comments in order to comprehend easily so I am going to create a fit zero uh, variable and conduct the auto dot rima for the training data set then as usual we can call the forecast function and see how the data is predicted and I am going to specify h equals 60 because in here I am going to forecast the data into the next 60 days in, and as well we can also uh, plot the predicted values and see how the data change over the course of period so we will run this part so there is a small error here So I am going to see the AICC of the best fitting ARIMA model that was identified for forecasting. So let me call the best fit, uh, find the best fit ARIMA model. So I am going to create a new variable best fit and list since I am considering AICC 
fit zero, which is the uh, total terima. Let's run this. So after running the program chunk of code, let's see uh, which model suits for me. So uh, based on the uh, result, uh, we can uh, conclude that the best fitting model for my data set is this. The one with parameters 313. So in addition to that, you can also see the different coefficients that uh, been uh, computed. So if you look closely uh, up to now, uh, we haven't used any kind of Fourier terms for the modeling. So in the in this case, we have only used the auto dot arima model uh, to get the forecasted values, and it automatically does for us. So we can even choose the best model from AICC. So now let's see how we can uh, incorporate Fourier terms for uh, forecasting values as well using the Fourier terms so for that we have to create a for loop So we are going. I am going to give the first uh, Fourier regression as the Z one. So we have calculated the frequency already from here. So first seasonality is happening in seven days therefore I'm going to sign it as seven and then the second one second one is hundred and 87.5 and then we can call the auto arima again Since there is no particular seasonal variation, we can uh, mention it as false and then we can get an if condition. So now let's see how the data is arranged. So it might take some time depending on the size. So here it is, uh, the Aroma model uh, identified 512. So let's run the forecast uh, using the best fit uh, Rima model. So now uh, let's run this chunk of code. So this is kind of a uh, forecasting that you will get uh, when conduct the RIMA modeling using the Fourier extension external 